Hey, what's up? It's Sergeant Hunter Funk, and we're back with more Fire Emblem! God, that's... That's so many of them. They've been set loose in the palace to murder the Crown Prince Zephiel. Ella would hurry to prevent them from fulfilling their contract. Pretty simple. I like it. Simple, easy to remember. Battle before dawn. The prince's room, is that the door? General Murdoch, the prince's body gaudy bard, should be away. The king concocted some errand to call him from Zephiel's side. There are no guards around. This is an easy job, isn't it? I can do this. This is my first mission, you know. I guess I'm a little nervous, but I mustn't fail. Mustn't let mother down. Are you ready, Jafar? I've no desire to be a part of your blundering. If you fail, I will, without hesitation. Finish the target, and then you. What? Do not be no so naive as to expect help from friends. Remember that. I, I knew that. You don't have to tell me. I'm a member of the Black Fang, after all. I won't fail. I will become worthy. I will. Mother will be proud of me. She will see the daughter I've become, and she will love me. There are no guards. It's just like we were told, but something strange. Listen, a voice. Someone's talking in the room. No, someone's praying. You're right. It's the prince, isn't it? I wonder what he's praying for. I offer this prayer unto thee. My coming of age ceremony is tomorrow. As the prince of Bern, I've tried. I've tried my best not to be an embarrassment to my father. I know I've not met with his expectations. But I will try harder. I will please him. I vow to do better for him. Hey, tomorrow I will be a man. So this is my last wish as a foolish child. It's the same one I've asked of you every night for all these years, but please bring father and mother together again. Please let the day come when Guinevere and I and her mother, when all of us can live together happily in the castle. It's time. Oh, Jafar! What, villain? That will leave him unconscious for some time. Now the time has come for you to do your part. Do it. Okay. I can't. What? What did you say? Listen to him. All he wants is his parents' love to be accepted. That's all. He's just like me. No matter how I try, Mother always looks at me as if I were nothing. Her eyes are so filled with disappointment. She's never held me, not even once. Stop this foolishness. I told you. I will not permit you to ruin my opportunity. I know. Do as you must, Jafar. I won't resist. You can do it easily. But please don't hurt the prince. For pity's sake. I'm ready to die. Come. What? We're leaving. Hurry. Jafar? This is it. Come here. But if you do this, Jafar, you'll... Don't worry about me. Hurry. Come up. What? No! Hello, Jafar. Finished already? Such magnificent skill. Is this why they call you the Angel of Death? Sonia told me you were behaving oddly, but it appears her fears were groundless. I'm sorry, it's not Jafar's fault. It was me, the prince. I couldn't... Nino! What's all this? Why is the girl still alive? What? You received Lady Sonia's orders, did you not? You were to dispose of the worthless little... No! Hold your tongue. You will not speak another word. So that's how it is. Jafar, do you plan on betraying Lord Nurgle? I will not let Nino die. Get out get out of my way or I'll kill you. Jafar! <laughs> so you have some human emotion in you after all. You always seem just like those creepy morphs. I bet you didn't kill the prince either. Maxime! Yes, I'm here. Wait, it's Cameron! Uh, take your men and put out all of the lights. Block all the entrances. Your targets are Prince Zephiel and two traitors. 
finish this before we draw attention to ourselves. Go! Go now. I will buy you time. No, you must come too, Jafar. Nino, you must live. You are worthy of living. No, wait. This is the royal manse. The lights have been doused. That's the sound of fighting. What's going on? I don't know, but if they're fighting, we might not be too late. Let's hurry, Ellawood. We have to get inside. We have to protect the prince. And we're going to go ahead and cut here so that we can make our preparations. But shit, this is intense, man. All right, let's do this. Crazy fightness. Here we go. In the night. In the night! As you might predict, this whole place is friggin' dark as hell. So, yeah. Anyways, how I've been doing this chapter, and this is one of the chapters that has given me more trouble than I'd like. Um, I just split off into two groups. You want to send most of your fighters over this way because there's a bunch of people in this hallway, but, um, yeah. This chapter, the visuals tend to get really, really dull. And I'm not even just talking about, like, you know, the even if you, if you have animations on, it's even worse. We'll see why in just a minute, actually. So, you know, no, no, no patience required there. All right, so taking him. I'm trying to remember who all, who all's where all and stuff. So, but we'll see. Shouldn't be too much different, except that. Uh, <laughs> Priscilla, I'm not. All right, you know, I I know I hate mentioning this, but in my other file, Priscilla was a Valkyrie by now. So it's kind of disturbing that she isn't. And this is why the visuals in this chapter are so bothersome. Because the only pe person that people in this chapter attack are friggin' Jafar. That's all they attack. It's crazy. Oh, Zephiel's awake. Draco is awake. But the cool thing about him, you know, the, it's, you know, the goal of the chapter is to defend Zephiel. Make sure he don't die. He's actually quite capable of defending himself. He's got a silver sword, and he just, he does it, he, you know. Someone is going to get in there before, before I do, so, you know, that is going to be a thing. But it's actually not going to be, it's not going to be a big deal, you know. It's kind of cool, actually, so. We'll see. But there's this is one of those chapters where there's just a lot going on, you know, especially since we have to unlock a side quest because that is something that's available in this chapter. And it's a side quest that we definitely want, although I don't want to play it because I hate it. I hate that chapter so much. But um, we will definitely see it and go through it and, you know... Carpe Diem, I don't know. I don't know why that's Carpe Diem, but, you know. All right, so these guys are going to open the door for us like a bunch of nice guys. So I say we repay them by tearing them to shreds. Yeah, Maxime, the boss paladin-looking guy, yeah, he gets killed by Jafar <laughs> automatically pretty much. Jafar's down there. He's an assassin with a killing edge. So, yeah, basically that guy we saw and... um. You know, we saw him, like, kill Leela, like, ridiculously easy. And I said, oh, my God, that was so awesome. I want that. Well, we kind of have that now because he's a green unit. I mean, he's not trying to kill us. Let's look at it that way. Oh, hello, Mr. Hero. Wow. That's why my Loan is so good in this game. Awesome. <laughs> Whew. All right. So, yeah, again, they just all attack Jafar. It's, you know, just whatever. Oh, except for that guy. He attacks like a, gold, like a bitch. I mean, really, that's just bitchy. I don't even have Ellawood right there either, so crap. <laughs> Basically, crap. Yeah, Jafar's got himself a killing edge. He's, you know, he's not going anywhere. Although, if he misses too much or he, like, doesn't one-hit kill enough, um, he the killing edge will actually break. And I had that happen to me earlier. It was so crazy. His killing edge, like, actually friggin' broke. It was pretty nuts. That sucks. That just sucks. That just sucks. Um, here. Steel bow that guy so he can at least move. I mean, jeez. 
Okay. Um, Lowen is gonna move the farthest after we're done getting items and shit. Alright, so... Wait there. Oswin, come up here and take out this guy. Because you can. And because this chapter is a lot about moving. You need to keep moving if you wish to accomplish all of your important goals in this chapter. You need to move like the wind. And I'm like, like seriously like the frigging wind. Not just any wind, but the wind inside a tornado or something. Because that's just, it's going to be crazy. I really want Elowa to kill him. Actually, no, no, I don't give a shit. Uh, just steal axe him to death. There we go. Yay! All right. Because, again, we need to be moving here. We need to be moving like crazy. So, Ellawood, come here, and you are wielding a sword slayer, but but I'm not going to care. Because we're moving, and because Hawkeye's going to be in front of you protecting you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Steel Axe. Wham! I do miss Hawkeye's animation. Never get tired of that one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move Priscilla down here. You, um, you probably noticed by now I didn't bring Ninian. I mean, that's just because she's friggin', you know, I mean, it's just crazy. Craziness. <sighs> God, it's so boring watching these friggin' Jafar just steal my spotlight. And literally, because he's a friggin' of the thief... Dichotoma. That's not a word. <laughs> of the thief family tree, and therefore has a huge friggin' light that he can see. Luckily, we can see too because of him, but that's nice. Hawkeye has the most defensive chest ever. I mean, his muscles are so huge, you can't even damage him. Okay, so someone opened that, so we've got to be moving here. Because we are going to lose something very, very important to us if we do not. Um, let's see. All right, we need to yeah move faster here. <laughs> we need to move even faster than we are already moving. And honestly, that's kind of true. Um, good level up, Ellawood. Especially since that was your last level up. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know we'll we'll, we'll work with it. Heal. All right, and you need to come on through here, Florina, because you need to be moving. <laughs> All right, just have you come down here. And we've pretty much reached a far this turn, so that's good news, because we don't want him getting all of the work done. All right, so let's see. Canis, come over here. Will, all right, just moving as far as we can again, so, you know. Uh, equip the steel lance, because that guy down there is... Wow! <laughs> I was not expecting that guy to be there, but whatever. All right, so... Louise... All right. One more turn, and then we'll, you know, call it a video. This is a... It doesn't... This doesn't seem like it, but it's actually a survival chapter. It just doesn't seem like it to me. I don't know. It's because I'm so friggin' busy. Oh, you bastard. You bastard! Why you attack the hot lady? Asshole. Her husband and adopted son are not going to be very happy with you. Just wait. Just wait till I get a hold of him. Oh god, he's got a Delphi shield. We need to steal that from him. Which is why I brought Legault along. In fact, that is the only reason I bought or brought Legault along. And it honestly is, because... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that good. I can't, like, friggin', you know, do anything else, but... That is literally the only reason I brought Legault along, so that he could steal that. And we're going to do it, so... All right. Um, Dorcas and Ellawood. This is just... Is, it's a very calculated chapter. Now, you, sir, we have to deal with you. Pent, I'll fire this bitch. That wasn't all that good, but... Uh, Urk, thunder this bitch. Fire this bitch? Thunder this bitch. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's the kind of rage I'm talking about. 
Now we gotta have Canis come over here and heal Louise because that's not, he doesn't have a heal staff. <laughs> again, again with the file mixing here, it's not a happy, it's not a happy accident actually, so. All right, let's see, Hector, curious. Damn, his killing edge only has five left. That's kind of shitty. Okay, so Javelin. And level up. Yay, Lowen. That's cool. Five. Damn. I like HP and defense. Okay, is that all? Yeah, because we're not moving Louise because she's still hurt. All right, next turn. Oh, it's Dark Magician Guy. That's not cool. And Lowen needs some help. Jeez. I need to do a better job of my heal staffs here. All right. But Lowen's alive still, and nothing will change that now, perhaps. I hope. <laughs> oh, God. Oh! Huh! Wasn't expecting that one. I have to tell you, this game likes to throw you for the curveballs here. And Hawkeye's just going to park himself there. So now this guy's like, oh, shit. <laughs> There's a big muscly dude out there, and I do not even want to mess with him. So we'll just hold him there until we are ready for him. Oh, God. Dude, I need to stop this video. Holy crap. I'm getting long, but I just can't, I can't stop playing. Yes, I can. Um, we're going to stop playing right now, in fact. And... Yeah. Okay. Don't say anything else. Don't even move. Don't even touch the freaking thing that moves the buttons. Don't even do it. Because we got to end this video now. Thank the f people for tuning in. And let's go. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.